What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Danny Miracle Man Jacobs. Surprisingly, Danny Jacobs says, I want all the champions in the super middleweight division. He did admit that <clears throat> his last performance was a C minus type of performance. He said that you have to have yourself 100% focused in the game in order to perform. And he said that he wants to think of this opportunity, even with this performance. Hopefully a lot of guys would like to fight me based off this performance, but I expect to be 100% come the next go round. He said, I think I can go ahead and partake with some of the big names in the division. I want all the champions in the super, weight, middleweight, super middleweight division. Just because I had one lackluster performance doesn't mean that next time around isn't better opposition. Someone who is going to throw more punches, someone who is going to be actually in there to win is going to cause for a better show. So those are the words of Danny Jacobs. Now, what do I say to this? I know in some fights can be flat, okay? And this was a flat performance from Danny Jacobs. And I, he blames it on Rosado, okay? He blames it on Rosado because reading into this, he's saying that Rosado wasn't throwing enough punches that didn't really come to win. He came to survive, okay? And what do I say about that? That may or may not be true. But even if it is true, what happened to your performance? You guys are supposed to have a beef between Philly and Brooklyn and those two competitive cities. And you guys had a, a backstory out of this world, kind of like a, it, it was a grudge match. And my thing is that fight's supposed to have been one of the fights of the year. We're already lacklustered by the lack of fights. And we get a stale performance from two guys that's supposed to hate each other. These guys are supposed to be like folks in, in, in vice lords or bloods and crips, things that like that, north versus south. And we didn't see any of that. So it makes you wonder, like, well, what was he really talking about? Because if Rosado wasn't throwing punches, that means you should have took the initiative. You being the guy that was favored to knock him out anyway, you should have went in there. So the question is, why were you so apprehensive to throw punches yourself? <clears throat> you can blame it on the other guy, but at the end of the day, you're responsible for your own performance. No one else's. And I know, well, he can only give me what I, he can only, I can only do what he gives me. That's not true. He fought scared. He fought like a person that was worried about something. You know, and it made me think that, well, maybe he doesn't got it. He doesn't have it anymore. Maybe he doesn't. Who knows? Now, he wants to take on these top guys. And anybody that looks at this now thinking or saying Danny Jacobs after a bad performance, he could be saying, I want all the champions in the super middleweight division because maybe he's trying to cash out because maybe he doesn't have it anymore. Or maybe the fact that they may want to fight him because they think he doesn't have it anymore anyway. So... I think it would win either way, even if he's dried up, washed up, just had a bad performance or it was a setup. I think maybe that people like Caleb Plant, uh, David Benavidez, guys like that, <clears throat> Billy Joe Saunders even, would want to come in to take the test because they seen how Danny Jacobs fighting. Now, if he just had a bad performance, only time will tell. Because if they take the fight with Danny Jacobs and he just had a bad performance, because other fighters has had a bad performance, speaking of Billy Joe Saunders, he went in flat a few times and still got the win. But then the next fight, he was looking okay. He was looking at like a B-plus or, or an A-minus style fighter. Now, if this is Danny Jacobs, it will play into his hands uh, quite nicely. So I feel that either way, Danny Jacobs will get the fights. Or he might not get the fights because people can look at Danny Jacobs and say, you know what? Danny Jacobs has nothing for me to offer, you know, so hopefully Eddie Hearn puts up the money to get these big fights in there. And he's going to need it because these other fighters are with the PBC and Al Heyman. And when you're dealing with Al Heyman, you better come with some money. And sometimes money ain't even enough. <laughs> so anyway. You guys tell me what you think about Danny Jacobs calling out all the champions at the super middleweight division. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.